Well, an Indianapolis man is in jail, accused of aggravated battery and criminal recklessness. Police say he hit a woman with a stray bullet on Monday. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Aaliyah Blackburn. And I'm Nick McGill. Marquise Tipton is already in custody. Fox 59 Chessie Wells shares the unusual events that led to the shooting on Keystone. Surveillance video shows the suspect open fire while standing right there in the entrance to this gas station parking lot. One of those bullets then traveled nearly 500 feet down Keystone, where it hit an innocent woman in the head while she was working inside this yellow gift shop. <laughs> see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. You can't quantify that in their numbers. Their numbers don't... They just don't... It's hard, to, it's hard to fucking parse that out of numbers unless you just actually say X amount of people. How many people got hit with straight bullets since, since your little burglar is there? I'm sure that's going through the roof. I'm sure straight bullet shootings have gone through the roof. This woman's over here working inside of this building. Do you think she gets hit? Fox is a little biased towards it, but this is local Fox. I'm just wondering. It's not like this is Tucker. So, what? Listen, this happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not an opinion. This happened. Yeah, but it was going to happen. It would happen whether the law would change or not. Because the Sun Man's going to be a Sun Man. Surveillance video shows the suspect open fire while standing right there in the entrance to this gas station parking lot. One of those bullets then traveled nearly 500 feet down Keystone, where it hit an innocent woman in the head while she was working inside this yellow gift shop. A minor car crash on Keystone led to shots being fired Monday afternoon and left a 64-year-old woman in the hospital. This was just such a random act of violence. Pat Sullivan says the victim was standing right here behind the counter inside his store, when a bullet tore through the wall, shattered a picture frame, and hit his employee in the left eye. You know, I think everyone on our staff is, you know, shocked. This surveillance video from Sullivan Hardware shows a silver SUV drive away from the Shell gas station across the street. Then you can see the suspect firing several shots down Keystone. Hey, look how reckless that is. Look how reckless this is. Shooting at a vehicle that's probably 200 yards away already with a pistol into traffic into a road a two two-way road with cars just going by that this is this is what i'm talking about marcy that type of recklessness the majority of sudden men are like that like you may not be i get it you're not and you do everything right the normal sudden man me included we do shit like that we don't give in that moment where you're mad you don't give a fuck about anything else i got something to believe about it and I, random acts of violence every day you can see that, the suspect firing that is completely reckless he has probably a one percent chance of hitting the person in that car There's probably a, a, a cross street, an intersection where cars are coming this way and going this way. You got already got the cars coming this way with the car he's shooting at. You got another side where the cars are coming this way and he's just shooting into the distance. Angrily, sideways. <laughs> but that happens it hundreds of times a day in that. cities where they're not allowed to have guns. So what's the difference? You should be severely punished for that. More. It's happened more in cities where, where they are allowed to have guns without permits. Just think about this. Like, when you saw that car leave out, I, I was assuming, honestly, that was him in the car. They had footage of him leaving after the shooting. And hardware shows a silver SUV drive away from the Shell gas station across the street then you can see the suspect firing several shots down Keystone, hitting the SUV twice and wounding the Sullivan employee. It's, it was so random, and it's uh, 
there's just no explanation. It's really hard to put put into words. It turns out <laughs> all that peace sign shit. Did you see that? Who do you well, think? I could, he did pretty good. He hit the he hit the SUV twice. Sure D. Salute to him. It turns out police believe the shooter, 27-year-old Marquesas Tipton, actually shot at the wrong SUV Tipton, who officers say briefly. <sighs> and the story gets sunny. He shot he he, he shot at the <laughs> See what I'm saying? In yeah. other words, he shot at the SUV that wasn't involved in his road rage incident. He just thought it was, and it was driving away. So, oh, that must be it. So he shot at it. And then hit a woman who was working in a gift shop across the, across the road. Hit one if you understand what I'm saying. Because, I mean, I, I just want to know if, 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 if anybody understands what I'm saying. I'm not saying... Get rid of the laws. You change all. Get rid of the first, second amendment. Arr! I'm just saying, yo. All, all it does is give the ordinary <laughs> citizen a fighting chance. Oh, I'm willing to carry a gun and take my own responsibility in there. So if I encounter a crazy sun man that's going to start shooting at me, I can actually have a chance to fire back. Otherwise, I'm a sitting duck. Exactly. That's it. That's and that's Russia. That's Russia for it. I'm well, both things can be right, though. Both things can be right, though. You could support it and still say, like, yo, this shit is fucked up for some men. Some men, some men, it wasn't made with us in mind. I, I keep the law, but admit that it wasn't made with us in mind. I mean, if you got a felony, you can't be having it anyway, so. True. Yeah, but in places where there's permitless carry, it opens the door for all sun men to carry because here's the thing. I'm a sun man and I'm carrying. Let's just say it's open carry and you're an officer. You're going to go up and start pressing out sun men for, for what? Let me, let me see your ID so I can run your name and see if you have any felonies. I had that happen once. Now I said because the officer asked me if I was a if I had if I had a CWP and all I asked him was do you have um, probable cause? But that's not permitless carry though. No, it was a it was open in, carry in a place where there's permitless carry. Start be a cop and start running up with something and saying, "Let me see your ID so I can run it for felonies and see if you have the right to carry that." Gun. See how that works out for you. Well, it wouldn't be legal in the first place, because 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 yeah, because they'd be, they'd be, they'd be, they'd, you need probable cause to do a stop like that. New York got yeah. away with it because you know when New York New York like to get away with stupid shit, but yeah, you need probable cause to check someone's ID if if they have if you know. The only thing I'm saying is in response to his thing saying that if you got felonies, you can't carry. Wrong SUV. Tipton, who officers say briefly left the scene before returning and being arrested, claimed a silver SUV caused him to crash his minivan into a white Lexus. But police say the SUV actually drove away prior to the shooting. A second, very similar silver SUV then pulled out of the gas station, and that's the one on the video targeted by... I mean... <laughs> yeah, if you're a cop and you just want to get home... The precedent that more people being armed can make your job a little more stressful. That's what you're saying. I'm saying that a sub man got in an accident and his first inclination was to shoot at the car who got in an accident with. He ends up shooting at the wrong car, hitting it twice and hitting a woman who was working in a gift shop across the street. That's what I'm saying. If you don't understand that. Right, but the only difference we're saying is that he could have had that firearm illegally, bought it illegally, could be a felon, all that, right? Probably. He's probably a criminal. But you know, this is Dana's first cherry he busted, is what we're saying. Like he was illegal 
Uh, yeah, you know. but it happens more. It happens more. It'll happen more. It'll happen more. You're going to deal with this more. Under that, we shouldn't let some men have vehicles. I mean, it's going to happen it, more regardless, I think. Yeah. In both, both, uh, It's clear they can't they can't they can't handle having a car in them at all. You know, hit and runs, drunk driving, you know, just doing stupid shit in the, in the road. Then, then why then why we let why we let some people have have a car? And that's li- and that's something you have to have a, a license to do to drive on a, on the public road. By mistake, this affidavit claims Tipton believed the driver of the silver SUV involved in the crash pulled out a gun and insisted he fired in self defense. Regardless of his reason, the small bullet hole visible on the outside of Sullivan Hardware led to big consequences. You know, with some of the young guys spraying bullets around the city, maybe they don't think that through. You know, they're just spraying bullets and they don't realize that they can do real harm. Finally, we're told the victim in this shooting is expected to have surgery tomorrow. In the meantime, formal charges are still pending against the shooting suspect. Jesse Wells. How many sun men do we see that are, are driving without a license, driving recklessly, driving multiple times at high rates of speed, getting tickets and getting nothing done to them? Their car's never impounded, nothing. <laughs> sun men weren't made for cars either. <laughs> mm, 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 or mm. cell phones. Mm, mm. <laughs> 